Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tandi Wegaya and I've got such a beautiful prophetic word to share with you today, my friends. I'm super excited about this one. Oh my goodness, it's such a good one. Okay, so just that quick disclaimer, remember that not every prophetic word is meant for you. So please take it to the Lord if you believe it's for you. Ask him about it and hear what he says to you. So friends, I just want to start off by just, just a quick reflection. Um, this year started off pretty rough for a lot of us and <laughs> I know it was kind of a bit jarring like okay what's happening you know because um, at the end of last year there was there were so many words that were put out there not just by me but but many other prophetic voices as well and to start off the year with so much difficulty with so much opposition with so many things um, seemingly falling apart with so many things seemingly going wrong um, can be very discouraging um, so friends and also just just getting insight from the Lord as well with regards to what is going on I mean he doesn't just put us through things and then um, leave us to figure them out he still keeps on speaking to us prophetically and and that strengthens us I know it certainly strengthened me I found myself just really starting to um, grasp the idea of putting God first of really taking that scripture in Matthew 6 verse 33 which says seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you I really um, got a deeper understanding of what that means and what God showed me is that there is nothing that I can do unless he is first in my life unless he is the one who is at the center and at the core of my being of what I do because without him I cannot bear fruit without um, the guidance of Jesus I can't do anything and Guys, it, it, it's so beautiful how God does this because yes, He wants to give us the promises. It's already done. He's already given them to us. But He wants us to be fruitful in those promises, to be able to be successful in whatever it is that He's placed in our lives. And we can only do that when we are completely rooted in Him, when we are the branches that are part of the vine, that are that are, are, are linked to the vine, pruned by the Lord. So friends, it really blew my mind just how important that was and why since the beginning of the year, God has been asking us to press into Him, to, to really get into relationship with Him and to put Him first because it's for our good. It's for us more than anything. And it really took me a while to grasp that and understand that. So that, that has been my prayer for myself and for all of you that we may just grasp what the Lord is telling us in this time to be obedient to it, to be faithful, to not be negative about our circumstances. I think for those of you who have been positive and have decided, you know what, I'm going to keep trusting the Lord despite what may be happening, despite that it looks like everything is falling apart. It really wasn't falling apart, my friends. God had it in his hands. And this is what um, I'm going to talk about in the prophetic word today um, or part of it and God is saying that for those of you who are faithful who, who obeyed who who applied the lessons that um, that you learned in the wilderness you've passed the test you have passed the test and he is about to <laughs> no he has opened the floodgates my friends he has opened the floodgates I've had people tell me stuff like um, this has gone wrong and it's almost as if there's been a stop that um, has been put to it and it's not panning out the way it was supposed to and then all of a sudden because of the way they reacted to that because of what they did in that time that everything was at a halt then all of a sudden it, it was released the exact same thing has happened to me my friends it's happened to some friends of mine that I've been chatting with it's almost as if depending on how you reacted so you could prolong this process where everything is at a standstill you could prolong it by grumbling by complaining by saying oh the god no the lord has forgotten me i'm still in the wilderness whatever you know i've read a lot and i've seen a lot and god is saying that you could prolong that or you could shorten it by trusting him being obedient and getting into his presence making him front and center and 
most important in your life and then all of a sudden release will start all of a sudden those things that seem to have come to a dead end or seem to have fallen apart come back together again it's happened to me my friends i'm gonna uh, do a testimony video soon um, about that but a lot of people a lot of people in my circle have come back with stuff like that because of just the way that they reacted to um, the things seemingly falling apart so now for the prophetic word that I got. This was a dream that I had on the 19th of January. It was the only dream that I had that night. Well, at least that I remember. I know I had others, but that was the one that I remember. And in this dream, God was showing me. It was a super long dream, so I'm not even going to attempt to go into it because this is going to be a longish video because of what the Lord has to say to us today, my friends. Um, this is so important. I encourage you to watch this video to the end because there's so much that the Lord wants to give to us here today. Okay, let's get into the prophetic word. So God has been preparing you for your new assignment, for your new role, for your new life, for your calling, for your new ministry, for whatever it is that he's been calling you into. He's been preparing you for it uh, for a long time. You've had to release some things along the way. You've had to let go of people along the way. And God has done this with you, um, I mean, throughout the wilderness process and throughout the transition process. There were, there were times when you, he had to do things publicly with you. And then there were times when it was between the two of you, a very private setting. And God is saying that those recent things that you've had to release and that you've had to let go of, the people he's asked you to let go of, that he has spoken to you in a private place, he's saying, well done for that. Well done for letting go, for releasing what you needed to release. But so many of you have not realized that the new thing has begun, that it has already sprung forth. It's already started. I love that scripture because it even says, can you not see it? Can you not perceive it? God showed me in this dream that it has already begun. Things are a buzz. Things are in motion. It's already begun. It's a new day. It has already sprung forth, my friends. This is amazing news. It has already sprung forth. God says it's time for you to be aware, to wake up from your slumber that you've been in. To stop focusing on the wrong thing and recognize that this new thing has actually sprung forth. It has begun. How exciting is that? I'm so excited. How exciting is that, my friends? It has sprung forth already. It's just up to us to wake up from our slumber. God showed me how in this state of slumber and just not being aware of what's happening, some of us still need, there's still a few things that we need to release. And God is saying you need to do it quickly. You need to do it quickly because things are abuzz, things are in motion. People are waiting for you. This new assignment, this new role, whatever it is, whatever it is that God is calling you into, it's waiting for you. Certain things cannot happen without you. This thing cannot be accomplished without you. No one can do what you have been called to do, what God has called you and assigned you to do. They are waiting for you. There are people waiting for you. There are situations waiting for you. Quickly polish up what needs to be polished up. Release what needs to be released. Release whomever you need to release. That last thing, and God is saying, the new thing has already sprung forth. It's The ball is in your court. And you need to just... Yeah, just be aware of this because this thing cannot go forward without you. God cannot have this thing move forward without you. How awesome is that? You are needed. They're waiting for you. The situation is waiting for you, my friend. No one can do what you were created to do. So it's time to get moving. <laughs> get moving. God is so graceful. In order for you to get moving, God is actually going to provoke some of you. He's going to use certain people in certain situations to provoke some of you. Mm. In the dream, I'm going to give you this quick thing that happened in the dream. I remember I was wearing pajamas, wasn't sure what on earth I was doing, scratching my head. And this place I was in was a buzz. Things were happening. And there was someone standing not far off from me and they looked at me and said who would hire a mother in this role who would hire a mother to do this she said it with such bafflement 
<laughs> I don't think there's such a word. She said it with such, um, there was disgust in her voice. There was, what's wrong with people? Why would we hire someone like her? The moment those words came out of this person's mouth, something stirred in me in that dream. And I was like, this is my role. This is my assignment. I've been called to do this because I care. You know, when I said that, I said, because I care three times in that dream. And I said it with such passion and I could just feel this fire in me. And I said it as I was walking with determination to wherever I was going. And I said, it's because I care. It is because I care. It is because I care. Immediately, the dream switched to me in a brand new outfit, a beautiful green, sophisticated looking dress. I was ready for the job, guys. I was ready for the job. It was like that. The moment I was provoked and the moment I realized what I was doing and why I was here and, and the moment I realized that I'm motivated by the love of Christ to do what I have been called to do. Even though someone may look at me and say, oh, she's just a single mother. Oh, she's that person that messed up her life so badly that now in her late 30s, she's still scrambling around, whatever. Doesn't matter what people may label me, but because I was provoked, a godly provocation, guys. God provoked me in that dream. And I was just like, um, this is who I am. This is what I've been called to do. And I'm going to do it. No one is going to intimidate me or make me feel like I don't fit into this place. It was such a beautiful moment. Just switching from being in pajamas and trying to figure out what am I doing, where am I, to I know exactly where I am. I know why I'm here. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to succeed. Because I have Jesus. Because God has trained me he's brought me here and he's prepared me for this place oh so exciting <laughs> so friends that part of the dream where i kept saying it is because i care god showed me that we carry the love of christ you carry the love of christ and because of that you'll be able to fulfill whatever it is that he has called you to do so the green dress god said to me that it it means that we will grow and we will bloom. We will produce good fruit. We will be prosperous in what we do, where he's placed us in this new assignment. We are living for Jesus. We are directed by him and we find peace in him. We cannot be deterred from our path. So that's what that green dress symbolized. That's what the Lord showed me. He said, it is just a time of just being fruitful. God also showed me that in this new place, in this new life of yours, there may be uh, initial teething problems, there may be settling in issues, but it's nothing that you haven't been equipped to handle, my friends. You have been equipped, you have everything that you need to succeed in this new place. You have everything that you need to do the work that God has set out for you, to accomplish everything that He set out for you. So you may feel out of place or whatever, but God is saying that you'll figure it out. You've got him. You've got Jesus guiding you. You have made him the center of your life. You've passed this last test of, um, of, of this last, what I said in the beginning of the video of where, you know, things were just paused a bit. And, and how did you react to that? Did you trust God? Did you have faith? God is saying you passed that test. So you'll be able to find your place to settle in and to make waves as you're supposed to do. God says that in these places, you will find that there are certain people that you will interact with, that you will work with, people that you might have to report to. Um, these people are, are experts, they're senior in their positions, they are advanced in, in whatever it is that they're doing, that you're a part of. They come across, they carry this image of success. They may even be Christians. Um, and God is saying that their lives are actually a mess. I remember being in this woman's house. This woman was in my dream. She seemed like someone that I was going to be working with. And she had a very superior role in this organization. And we were now in a house. Her house was just neglected. It was, it was rusty. There was a mess. It wasn't... It wasn't beautiful and lavish and what you'd expect from someone in that kind of position for someone with 
such a, um, a powerful image, someone that looks like they have all the money in the world, whatever the case might be. So God said to me through that, that their house is not in order. Their house is a mess. Um, they're, they're dealing with a lot. They don't really know who I am. They call themselves Christians. They say they're walking with me, but they really aren't. And they're also um, experiencing this thing that everyone has experienced where things have just been kind of put on hold and um, it seems like things are falling apart. And for these people, they don't get that God is working something out and that and that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So this is um, the conversation I had with this woman in the dream. As we were sitting there in our house, God just gave me the image in the stream of an eclipse. Guys, this eclipse. <laughs> he gave me the image in the dream. And in the dream, I had the answer. God gave me the answer or gave me the interpretation of what that eclipse meant. He said, we've just come out of this place where all these prophetic words were spoken. There was a light and there was excitement. And then the eclipse happened. The light was covered. Everything seemed to be dark and at a standstill. And then light again. Guys, in the dream, I got so excited. And I was, I was like, oh, to this lady, I was like, I know this is what God is doing. This is what he's been doing. This is what it all meant. The start of the year. I mean, towards the end of the year, there was so much hope. Things started to happen. And then, boom, it kind of stopped. Or like it was falling apart. And God is saying, it's just an eclipse. And the light. It's already begun. Something just, just kind of you know, pause things a bit, but the light was still there. It had already begun, my friends, and it's carrying on. And I got so excited in the dream, in the dream and I'm telling this woman this, and she says, yeah, it's like a woman in birth pains, in labor. And I said, yes, exactly. And then, she, and then at the end of the birth pains, she gets to have this beautiful baby and this peace. But when I was saying this to her, she was gone. She wasn't there to listen. So to her, it's just birth pains and they, they just continue. She, she couldn't see hope. She couldn't see a way out. So God is saying there will be people like that. And he's placing them in our lives for a reason. We are to minister to them. We are to be the light. We are to show them who God is, who Jesus is. Wow, friends, this, this dream gave me chills. I woke up so excited. <laughs> I was so excited when I woke up because it was like, Wow, Lord, that's exactly what this has all been about. The light has been there. The new thing has already sprung forth. It has begun. It was just a moment of pause where you put everything in the dark and you said, will you still trust me? Will you still love me? Will you still put me first? Will you still see my goodness even when it seems like everything is falling apart? Wow, friends. I was, I was completely blessed by that. It blessed me so much. And, and I really pray that it's blessed you as well. So friends, that's the word that I, that, that God gave me to share with you today. Such a beautiful, encouraging word. I'm so encouraged. I'm so excited. And yeah, I'm praying for you. And thank you all for praying for me. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just so, so amazed at how God works. So blessed by it by his ways mm. it's true in it when the word says his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts friends be blessed be blessed have a positive mindset the new thing has already sprung forth it's begun it has begun trust god i love you friends and remember that god loves you so much and you serve a good wonderful loving father he's so good and you, my friends, are so special to him. We will abide in you, Lord, hide in you, Lord, rest in you, Lord. We will rest. Teach.
creatures to wear.